so picking up where we last were. I forgot to mention something in the last video because I actually forgot about it, but there is also a uh, West Ildleshire Ithrite Shard, which allows you to teleport to the other side of the uh, Ildleshire, as it were. And I, first I'm going to start with by speaking to her because it should be very, very, very quick. Uh, and then I'll continue on with the main scenario quest. Uh, Lose is eager for you to rise through the ranks in Clan Centurio. So you're the famous celebrity, are you? <laughs> the clan's all abuzz with talk of the brave young adventurer who's joined her ranks. But tell me, how is it how is it a storied young lass like you's only approved to take on level two marks? Scared of getting that pretty face of yours scratched, are you? Well, it's up to you, but if you've got the stomach for a new challenge, you go back to that inn and tell Ardelaine that Ulysse says he's holding you back. If he doesn't approve you for more advanced marks, he'll may have me to deal with. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so basically, that is going back to Ishgard to allow you to unlock higher leveled uh, hunt marks, which we haven't actually done in any of the videos or anything like that. But yeah, that's what that is for. And we can see here, we also have more gear uh, available to us now. Uh, weapons of variety. And I'm tempted to get the Lancer 1 uh, item comparison is what I meant to do. Yeah, as you can see, it's a lot better than the one we're currently using because we're still using our Ironworks uh, one as well. And then you also have the... Uh, Ninja one, or sorry, that's the Puga list one. This is the Ninja one. And, oh, actually, uh, I'm going to be going for that one most likely, unless I buy them or make them myself, uh, because I use that for my glamour. <laughs> uh, but we'll get to that. And then you also have the shield here. Uh, so really, these weapons don't really matter much because once we hit level 60, we'll be able to get the Shire weapons. As I mentioned in the last video, and I actually started... Uh, oh, I can't actually look at that. There we go. Uh, I actually did start getting some of the uh, Lancer slash Dagroon ones, because I figured that's the class that I'm probably going to stick with till the end of Heaven's Ward at any rate. Uh, but without further ado, I'm actually going to go for those because I use them in my glamour for my ninja. Anyway, Slowfix wants you to eliminate the golems that prowl Idleshire. So Uplanders agreed to help. Good, here's what Slowfix wants Uplanders to do. Many golems prowl in Ildleshire, get in the way of expansion plans. Slowfix wants Uplanders to eliminate golems. Uplanders are Shrelian, yes? Shrelian should know best way to deal with the creatures. That explains why I was seeing them around here. I completely forgot about that quest. Slowfix wants Uplanders to blah blah blah. Blah blah blah, same thing basically. Oh no. Sentient golems. I dare say Yushtola will know how to deal with them. Yushtola. So we are to eliminate the golems? That should be a simple enough affair. The, uh, the automata were complete employed as sentin uh, sentinels, and by design can be unmade with a coded command. At the time of the exodus, it was knots and crosses. I see no reason why it should not work. Uh, still work. Let us divide the task between the three of us. The quicker to be finished with it. With the chat mode and say, use your keyboard, blah blah blah, knots and crosses to unmake a golem. And I already know the golem that I likely have to attend to is, or several of them anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. I know there's one over there because I was seeing it over th I hit the wrong button again. Fail, fail, fail. Yish, Tola. Use the coded command knots and crosses to unmake the golems. If all goes well, we can accomplish the task without recourse to violence. So we see this here and say, and we need to say, oh, not in this direction though. I'm guessing that's one that she has to contend with. I'm uh, going the wrong way. I want to go this way. And as you can see, there's also a summoning bell and Splendor's Vendor, and Script Exchange, and Junk Munger stuff, blah blah blah. Anyway, so the one that I need is over here. And... And it's been unmade, but the shutter of the golem crumbles to pieces. Poor Golem, he had no idea what was about to happen. 
And our next one is over here. Rumble Rumble. I was curious what it was going to say. With a shudder, the golem crumbles into pieces. And so we need to head back over there and speak with Sulfix. Ishtola. I'm pleased to report that my golems obediently crumbled at my command. Elfino. Of all the luck, one of my golems was not receptive to the password and tried to pummel my, me bloody. Thankfully, I managed to dance clear of its fists and strike it down. Slowfix. Golems are no more. Wonderful. Now we can resume work to expand settlement. And yoink. Slowfix. And we have yet more gear options. We have the archer slash bard's uh, bow and arrow. We have the machinist's weapon. It's interesting. Then we have the, I believe this is the... Oh yes, the the butterfly... Oh, not the, the butterfly, the ladybug one. <laughs> uh, see, it's a ladybug. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, that's the Thaumaturge and Black Mage. And then we have the Summoner and uh, Arcanist. Yes. It's an interesting book, to say the least. And I don't know which one I'm going to go with. Not the Ladybug one, anyway. <laughs> Slowfix has the look of a goblin who is about to ask a favor. Psh, psh, uplanders helped Gobby, fil Gobby Flock earn... Blah, blah, blah. Helped go Gobby... Gobi, Gobi, Flock, earned right to be citizens of Idleshire, but Slowfix must ask another favor. Another favor, you say? Short time ago, dear friend of Slowfix ventured into Illuminati territory. The Illuminati are nasty goblins. Show no mercy, even towards Gobi, uh, Gobi kind, a uh, Gobi kin. Slowfix fears for friends, friends' life. Please find friend before Illuminati do. I'm suddenly taken by a sense of foreboding. Be that as it may, we cannot turn a blind eye. Let us make haste and find Slowfix's friend. Slowfix. Illuminati are nasty goblins. Show no mercy even towards gobby kind. Slowfix fears for friend's life. Please find friend before Illuminati do. And of course we have a bunch of side quests available now and we need to head back out this direction. Uh, we could go the... Actually... As you can see, there's two different exits here. Currently, we can't go this way. We can only exit this way. And if we actually look in this direction, it should be obstructed. Yes, you can see there's debris and such in the way. And this is the direction that we need to head. And jumping onto my mount here. As you can see, we have another quest down there, and I believe that is an either right one this time. I'm not going to be worried about turning that one in. It's mostly for the hunt stuff anyway. And it seems funny that we're using a flying ship, but we can't really fly. <laughs> it does at least run. So we're going to stop there and then head that direction, because obviously it is on the way, because that's the direction that we have to go. Hence, it's on the way. And that's just over there. Teplix. Teplix is eyeing you suspiciously. Psh, psh. You are a stranger. You are a sneaky pig and peeker. You are a thief working for Illuminati. You can't take these things. No, no, no. They are for all to enjoy. But Illuminati always try to steal and hide things. Teplix must be an, a constant guard. If you say you are a gobby friend, then prove it. Find Illuminati and defeat them. Drive them away from this place. That's easy enough to do. All we have to do is press the right buttons and head in the proper direction and not backwards. <laughs> uh, I don't usually misclick that. Ta-da! 
No, we weren't done. Apparently, we needed to continue there. My bad. We needed to go one more down. <laughs> I knew that. You slow Illuminati fighty force. You are a true gobby friend. The things here uh, the things here are for all people of Idleshire, but Illuminati try to steal them away. Illumina uh, Illuminati is our enemy. Illuminati is your enemy. This means you are our friend. And with that we get one of the first or one of the first we get the first Aetherite uh Aether Shard Aether Wind. What are they called? I quit. It's also daytime in here. It is very pretty in this area. Uh, beware of heights, though. You can't fall off it anyway. And there is also a curious dome thingy over there. You won't really get into that until those are available. And by those, there's uh, there's something to do that to do with that. And as I said, I won't get into it. So we need to head to the west, which is that direction, uh, for the next either current shardy thingy, either current. That's it. That's what it's called. Uh, so we can't get to it right now because I believe we need to be on the other side of the river. Because I do think we have all of the ones that we can on this side because we have four of them so far. At least just six of them. And those, of course, I missed one in another location. Well, there's one to the east, which is that direction, so I probably did mix, miss one. So, brave locks, all talks. Goodly Uplander, long time no eye catch. What is bringing Uplander here? <gasps> Does Uplander have lust, uh, lust eyes for a chunk of... Uh, no. A blender must not be touchy junk of Brave Locks. Brave Locks is finding junk first. I knew I recognized the voice. Greetings, Brave Locks. It has been a while. Forgive us for interrupting your work, but Captain Weeskate gave me to understanding that you are mar marked by the Illuminati. This happens to be Illuminati-held territory. Is it wise to be here? Psh, cra! Brave Locks eat Illuminati for sun uh, sunupses. Oh, really? We'll hear some right now. <laughs> psh, psh. Who eats who for uh, sunupses? Wah! Brave locks, all talk, sun wise. You are to come here for after dirty taking secret knowings of cheese make from Illuminati. Well, I wasn't, but thanks for giving me away your plans. Brave locks did not unwrite. Cheese recipe is gobby birthright. Save tongue flaps for trading in death pit. Of course, the goblin's like garbage, so that's what he thought we were after. And by garbage, I meant junk. And of course, we have this thing. Pray to godfathers for punishment as near times. It appears we have no choice. To fight, of course. Of course, I'm gonna go for the small fries first.
Well, that was a fail. I tried to move them away, and that didn't quite work. <laughs> and there's been conversation that I haven't been paying attention to. Ta-da! Hee 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 Illuminati, no match for furious comfists of brave locks. Yeah, we totally didn't help at all. More drunk is awaiting brave locks. Watchly, brave locks is ta uh, taking leave of uplanders. So that was the famous brave flocks. I have newfound respect for the company of heroes. That a motley crew such as theirs could achieve the feats they did bespeaks unwavering solidarity. Ishtola. Being embroiled in a cheese war was the last thing I expected coming uh, coming to Charlian. At any rate, we have fulfilled Slowfix's request. Let us return with the good tidings and be on our way. And before I do that, I'm gonna try to find that last uh, Aether current and then teleport to Idleshire since that's where I need to go and I can teleport and all that. And if I would guess it's probably up there somewhere. It's like I don't see it, I don't see it, and then I could hear it before I saw it. <laughs> and of course I run into one of these. Yushtola. One does not simply drift in the life stream. It is constant struggle to hold on to your very essence. The experience has hardened me in ways I can ill explain. Elfino. I had a, uh, I had known that Yushtola was capable, but to invoke such potent magic so effortlessly, I must needs redouble my efforts if I am to approach her level of mastery. Slowfix. Uplanders are back. Did Uplanders find friend of Slowfix? Pr 
for sure. Time has not cured recklessness of Brayflox. Without help from Uplanders, Brayflox would now be dead gobby. Suffix owes Uplanders debt of gratitude. Suffix and Brayflox are joined by unseverable gobby bond. If Suffix had known that Uplanders are friends of Brayflox, Suffix would have welcomed Uplanders to gobby flock at first meeting. And with that, we are going to go with, uh, sure, the longbow there. It's probably going to go on the market board anyway. Yishtola. Uh, it would be an understatement to say that I am quite ready to move on. Of and out. Let us hope there are no further surprises. Slow fix. Uh, so apparently we have a side quest with him as well, but we will, won't be picking that up, leaving Edelshire. And of course we have the continuation of the rest of the tools and weapons and whatnot. So that's the Conjurer White Mage, the Scholar's Book, Interesting. The Astrologian. And also the Red Mage. Anyway. Uh, Grateful Slowfix is ready to grant you uh, your heart's desire. Uplanders have upheld bargains, uh, bargain most highly. As promised, Slowfix makes Uplanders honored citizens of Idleshire, free to cross river at will. Though Uplanders must leave for now, Slowfix hopes that Uplanders will pay many visits and help build a great new nation. You are most kind, my friend. You may be certain that we will return. I must confess, at first it upset me to learn that my home had been occupied by others, but I see now that, is in, that it is in good hands. Under your care, I look forward to seeing Sherlian thrive once more, to become a home to people of all races and creeds. Slowfix has already ordered the Gob Watch to let Uplanders through. Safe travels! Elvino, Slavrian, shall we then? But before we go that direction, as you can see, we have another quest here, Hellfix. And this one should be for an Aether Current as well. And as you can see, we also have, let's move that back there. We have these uh, different arm pieces, gear, gauntlets, hands, whatever. As you can see, I actually quite like these ones. Who are these for? Uh, Pugless Monk and Samurai. Well, we kind of need this one though. Uh, Sort of. Actually, we can make do with what we have. Anyway, Halfix is fidgeting. <laughs> Halfix, half, uh, half six has very important trust a uh, task for trusty Uplander. Must be done with fastness. Aetherite of Idleshire needs of inspection. Maybe needs upkeep too. If gobbies do not take a look and fix the little problems, its spinnings may shudder and stop, or there is a very big boom. But Half six does not have the right tools. Uplander, there is no time to waste. Half six needs Aetherflow distributors. The nearest are in the base of Ill Illuminati. Come, come, right the star pots. Well, but ironically, we need to head in that direction, I think, at some point anyway. Uh, but we'll get to that in a bit. We will head this direction <laughs> and then head over there. Ironically, it's where one of the Aether Shards is, or Aether Currents is. Oh well. <laughs> I was sure there was a quest in there. I wasn't sure if it was a side quest, though. Which it technically is, but. Elfino. So we are free to go. Where, exactly? Mishtola. I shall be very cross if we were asked to clear this mountain of rubble. Oh, watch. By order of Chief Slowfix, Uplanders can come and go at will. One moment for clearing away barricade. Finally, we can continue our journey. Might have been nice to have a bit of a warning. <laughs> Ah, 
Ahem. Bearing any misadventure, we shall soon arrive at the cave where Mitoya resides. Unless you have unfinished business in Idleshire, let us strike out once at once. I'm ready whenever you are. Let us go and meet the legendary Mitoya. Well, before I do that, I am actually going to go to that Aether thingy uh, and then head that way. So next you will see me is hitting the wrong buttons again. Uh, next you will see me is in uh, that area over there. Of course, needing to be sneakity sneak sneak my way through here. I well, managed to do it kind of semi well so far. Um, there we go. Up here. Avoid that one and avoid that big thingy. And I believe we need to head over here. Yes, you can see it's over there. Um, don't. Oh, you turned at the right part there. Illuminati pot. And now we need two more. Yes, one's back over that direction and the other right there. Did I just like move right past it or was it not available for me to see? Hey Sid. Perfect, he moved over here. And the last one is over here, and it should be easy to get to, but let's stick to the wall. Perfect, and I think I just need to head back to I do indeed, it'll shire to turn that in, and then we will speak to Yishtola. F6. Has Uplander found Aetherflow distributors? Uh, Aether Flow Distributor, a highly complex instrument used to gauge the stability of an Aetherite. Thank you, Uplander. With these, half six can do upkeep. Uplanders of Charlian are making Aetherites to whirl use tricksy ancient knowings. And if Gobby folk uses tools and parts left by old Uplanders, then the Aetherite of Idleshire will stay spinning for many, many years. And with that, we will... I don't know. We'll just grab one of those and probably put it on the market board. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, and now we're going to speak with Yishtola, who is, again, just over here. Actually, we'll speak to uh, Alphano first, who is also just over here. <laughs> Alphano. I'm ready whenever you are. Let us go and meet the legendary Matoya. Yishtola, ahead lies the answering quarter, where the scholars of Charlian gathered to hone their knowledge. Even from this distance, tis plain that much of it has been given back to the wilderness. And we'll just go for that, I guess. Elfino. But the final, uh, but the final leg of our journey remains. Let us go and meet the legendary Matoya. Yishtola is ready to lead you to Matoya's cave. The cave in, the, in, in which Matoya resides is situated on the southern edge of the hinter, hinterlands. In choosing the spot, my master desired privacy above all else. As such, the cave is extremely well hidden. You'll not find it unless you know to look for it. We shall follow the road south until we reach a bridge, rather than cross it. However, we shall for, ford this stream it spans, thence head straight until we arrive at the base of a bluff. And I do see we have a quest over there, so I'm gonna go back and go take th and get that. And I thought, and I'm like, maybe there's a Aether Current quest for us in that direction. And I think that's what that one is over there, so... And it wouldn't be available until I had talked to Yushtola. Because I know it wasn't available before, because otherwise I would have noticed it. Midnight Dew. Uh, taking stock, and I am right. Steam appears to be rising from midnight's, uh, midnight dew's beautifully bedacked ears. Ah, oh, darn it, I've been had. Some twice-cursed sons of a mad, blind dork have made off with all my takings and my trade tradables, too. I knew this place was full of treasure hunters, but I never reckoned it'd be my treasures they'd be hunting. 
And it ain't just my losses that concern me. The gobbies counts on the goods I bring in to keep this place, place fed and watered. If I don't get my stock back, this whole town could fall apart. What do you say, adventurer? Will you help me bring these thieving curs to book? An adventurer in coming back from the answering quarter says he bumped into a gang of ill-looking brutes in, on Front Bridge. Nearly knocked the poor kid into the thaliac, they did. Anyhow, he says they were heading into the ruins. Meet me there and we'll start the search. And now heading back out that way. And we get our first look on this side of the lake. We can see that's all the way down there. We can see the tower, sort of, except you kind of saw a chocobo head, but anyway. <laughs> uh, we can see the path is very overgrown. 15 years would do that. And we also have an ether current there, and if you can see, someone brought it from down there, so that tells us we can do that too. And if we follow along, we will see we need to head to the south, so we'll try to avoid the mobs while we're doing that. And we also need to speak with Mountain Dew, who is in this direction, so we will go ahead and do that. I believe she's up here. Yes, she's right there. We also might be able to see some of the other Aether currents. Uh, no, not really. Midnight Dew. Uh, midnight Dew. Well, Matt Lass, now here's the plan. Considering the weight of the stuff they stole, they won't get far on foot. Chances are they'd get, uh, they've got a boat hidden somewhere. I'll get on to my crew and have them stake out the riverbank. In the meantime, I want you to search the ruins for whatever you can find. Might be bandits are lying low out there, or maybe they've stashed the loot and moved on. If you should chance on any of my belongings, I'd be obliged if you'd uh, bring them back to me. Nope, I'll just find them and leave them there. Anyway, so that continues on our way as well. And Ether Current is to the south. Which is where we need to go anyway, but we'll follow along this path. And we can see something there of interest. Should also be an either current nearby. To the south. Uh, yes, right there. We will get the either current first and then tackle whatever that is there. Either current. Don't ask me why I said that. I really like the sky in this area. As you can see, that looks almost realistic. I guess they didn't like me standing nearby. <laughs> chop, chop, lads. Stolen items. Uh, we will head back to Midnight Dew quickly and turn this quest in and then continue on our way because I think on the way we end up being able to fly again and I recall wishing I had turned it in before but we'll find out so yeah, I do. How goes the search adventurer? Did you find anything? Stolen item. A wooden box filled with various odds and ends wrongfully taken from the Midnight Dew of Idleshire. Idleshire. Fiddleshire, whatever. My stock, well, one's chest, one chest's worth of it anyway. There's still one, uh, still some missing, but this is a darnest good start. Uh, but this is a darn good start. We've got the new, uh, blah, blah, blah. you've got the nose of a bloodhound, lass. I'll be wanting a lend of that sniffer of yours to track down the rest of my property. Well, that is going to have to wait some other time, midnight do person. In the meantime, the bandits will be stupid and just sit there until the Warrior of Light actually tries to get the quest done. <laughs> okay, next you'll see me is uh, the next Aether card. Got to give a moment to pause just to give you a view of this, because it looks very interesting. And yes, that is in fact a bar barrier of sorts, which will be seen much later. And thus what we see right now is probably going to change then. And you can see the next Aether Current is just over here, trying to ignore the frog here, the Pirogo. Pirogo. I kind of failed. Hopefully it doesn't notice me because I'm over this way. Yep, it's turning back. 
Uh, there we go, and that leaves one more, I believe, to the east of here. So that's in that direction, which I believe we have to go anyway for... Actually, there's two more. Okay. Uh, can we avoid that? Yes, we can. Perfect. Oh, no. All kinds of herb herbs... Herbs. All kinds of herbs grow here, and they appear very well tended. Ushtola, this is the entrance. Hmm? You seem unconvinced, Lebrun. Well, that will add only add to the surprise. A word of warning before we proceed. Stubborn geniuses to make poor hosts, and time will have done not not to improve my master's temperament. Doubt not but there that there will be sentinels and traps both to deter unwanted guests, but we'll not be deterred, will we? Go on and touch the wall yonder, and you uh, <laughs> go on and touch the wall yonder. You will want to have your weapon near at hand. Well, it's kind of on my back, so there's that. I see wall. And, of course, I was worried that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, we need to be level 59. Okay, so... We're going to go build as a ninja for now. <laughs> Those sentinels may suffice uh, to discourage... Those sentinels may suffice to discourage the average trespasser... Tre pa 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 trespasser, but not the warrior of light. The way should now be clear. Come, let us go see my master. Don't you know it's rude to enter without knocking? The use of today. No manners at all. Though we neglected to knock, we did create something of a commotion. I had hoped that would suffice. Heavy-handed as ever, I see. And still not a hint of grace. Some things never change. To give credit where credit is due, I learned from the best. It has been too long, Master Matoya. Indeed it has. Oh, it's good to see you again, my girl. And with your fiery spirit unquenched. But look at you, all grown up and womanly. The one there in the fancy duds, that's Louis Soie's granddaughter, I take it? Grandson, begging your pardons. You knew my grandfather, my lady. Knew him? Ha! We were constantly at each other's throats. Like rabid dogs we were. Oh, he was a stubborn bugger, was your grandfather. Never a dull moment when he was around, though I'll give him that. As for you, boy, I've known you since you were a rosy-cheeked babe at the teat. And my sister too, I gather. May I say what an honor it is to meet you again, my lady? Spare me the hollow pleasantries, boy. I'll wager my remaining good teeth you didn't come to a forgotten corner of Eorzea to flirt with a wrinkly old woman. Now out with it. What is it you need of me? I never thought I'd hear that name again. You are familiar with it. As familiar as one can get from poring over musty old tomes. 
The Alagon set the Isle afloat not long before the sun set on their empire. Old Louis Soi and I often talked about it. The place is home to a research facility dedicated to finding ways of mastering mighty beings, such as primals and dragons. And find ways it did too, frightening ones. Such secrets as lie buried on Azizla aren't fit to see the light of day. And now you tell me a band of dragon-beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up? Indeed. And to make matters worse, the Asians have a hand in their plot. They must be stopped, no matter the cost. I see. Very well. You will help us then? Truly? I had not anticipated such an impassioned response. Could it be that the presence of young blood has stirred your own? Ah, some things never change. One day that pertness is going to cost you your tail, my girl. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's also one of my favorite pieces of music, but before we do anything, Saro Rago. Saro Rago is a picture of nervous energy. Woe is me, Ribbit. Master Matoya will have my hide. Yo, you are a guest, and yet you have lent me, uh, yet you will, would lend me your aid? Oh, thank you, kind adventurer. I'm in your debt. Permit me to introduce myself, Ribbit. I am Saro Rago, a humble servant of Mistress Matoya. I am tasked with picking leaves from her herb from her herb garden, from which I make her tea. Alas, drawn to their medicinal properties, bugs have recently taken to ravaging the, the herbs. I attempted to get rid of the pests, but they are too much for a lone uh, porago to handle. I would be grateful if you could eliminate them in my stead, Ribbit. Garrow. <laughs> I mean, hi. Uh, right. Enchanted broom. Nothing to see here. Swish, swish, aroo. <laughs> Ishtola. Being here calls to mind my days studying under Matoya. Though she was the strictest and most ira uh, irascible of mentors, she led by example and inspired one to the one to greater heights, were it not for her sage guidance, I should not be the woman I am. Oh, no. Do you see the tomes lying around like so many cheap romances? They are priceless. My professors at the studium, uh, studium would have fits if they saw them in this state. Well, good thing they're not here. Straightforward broom. Uh, let's weeping love. What? Uh, swish swish -a I'm just respectful to dust. Can you see that? I am serious. Mm. Can you see that I am serious? I'm disrespectful to dust. Let's sweeping love. Nope, got none. Self-possessed broom. Uh, I live to sweep. Swish swish -a Sweep with me or die. Can you do any less? Certainly. Uh, Statescu broom. None shall bite the dust. Ha ha ha. Out of my way, adventurer. This is no place for adventuring. I think that's all the brooms. <laughs> uh, looks like it. Matoya. Matoy is in a mood to reminisce. Twas some um, fifty years ago, shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilzabad under its rule. Faced with a threat of invasion, the people of Charlian scrambled about for a means to resist the Empire. For my part, I was tasked with developing an etheric converger. 
Ah, yes. A device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. But as my research neared its end, it was denounced by the Forum, who claimed that my device was more likely to destroy us than our enemies. After that, they and I had a little falling out, and I decided to seal away all the fruits of my research, lest the dunder-headed ingrates reap any benefit. <laughs> Petty, I know, but gods, it was satisfying. Do mine ears deceive? T'was you, was it not, who was so fond of saying that all knowledge exists to advance mankind, that how it is used depends on us? I don't remember. Perhaps. All right, yes. That was a pet phrase of mine. And that should give you a notion of how sick and tired I was of those spineless wretches of the Forum. All talk and no trousers, that lot. That's why I decided to remain behind, rather than join the Exodus. You may have had your disagreements with my grandfather, but upon that point, your minds were as one. With respect, Master. The fruits of your research should not be left to spoil. Will you share with us the secrets of the Etheric Converter? Aye, I will. All the information you need is contained in a tome I wrote on the subject. But you'll have to fetch it from the forbidden section of the Great Library. Ah, oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the library's guardians are all but certain to remain. We must needs cut a path through them. Come, let us away. Not so fast, you lot. Stoller and the boy are staying with me. I need help to make new sentinels to replace the old ones you walloped. They'll be bored and lodging, don't you worry. But know that you'll have to work for them. Hard. I'll have no sluggards in my house. And of course that means we're on our own with another Journey. Being here calls to mind my days studying blah blah blah. You're saying the same thing. Mataya. Oh, the Great Library's guardians shouldn't pose any difficulty for a hero like you. You'll hardly notice Shatola's absence and the girl, boy, whatever, would only get in your way. But if it turns out you weren't up to the task, well then I'll know you can't be trusted with something as dangerous as an etheric ram. Now the library's entrance is locked tight. I'll loan you one of my servants to open it. The broom yonder. Well, what are you waiting for? Introduce yourself, girl. Are you going to introduce yourself to that broom or not? No skin off my nose if you don't. Uh, you're told that the Great Library was more than just a repository for tombs. The tomes. It also serves as a center of research for countless fields of study. Fields such as the development of arcane entities, the fruits of which we uh, were employed as the library sentinels. Be ever on your guard, Celebrium. Elfino. Would, it, uh, would that I could accompany you to the Great Library, but I sense it would be unwise to go against my lady's wishes. Rest assured, I mean to use my time here productively, gleaning all that I can from our learned host, even if that old crone can't tell... can't tell boy from girl. <laughs> well, you do kind of look like your sister, just saying. Enchanted Broom. Greetings, good madame. I am Broomsy, my lady servant of many fifty years. May I say what an honor it is to serve you? I am given to understand you wish to enter the great Google Library. To find it, pray head east upon leaving this cave. The building will come into view shortly after you reach the collapsed bridge. I shall go on ahead and await you at the entrance. When your preparations are in order, pray come and meet me there. It will be my pleasure to unlock the door for you. And so before we do anything, we are going to... where's the... 
Oh, it's right here. The repair gear. And I'm actually going to swap back to my Dragoon so that I can hopefully get it closer to leveling. And I'm going to do those, uh, these here. And, uh, the Go Great Google a Library will be the next thing. It won't be in this video, but it will be the next part of the main scenario quest. Medicinal herbs. They have the next one here. And the next one is uh, right there. There we go. And of course I can't turn it in because I'm too low of a level. <laughs> uh, so that's unfortunate, but I did get to fight them at least. So changing as my ninja here. I changed my mind. I'll go as my paladin to get it to level 60 as well. So, Rago, the bugs are no more. Well, thank you. Not only are you kind, but you are strong as well, Ribbit. Now I can resume my duties again, harvesting and making tea. It is all I am capable of. I am failed creation, you see. Unlike my mistress's other children, I am incompetent and clumsy. For want of a task I could, I could perform, she bade me serve her tea seven times daily. But even in this, I needed assistance, Ribbit. Unless I make myself more useful, tis only a matter of time before my mistress removes my enchantment. Then I would revert to an ordinary toad, incapable of, spe or incapable of speech. I cannot bear the thought of that. I must become a better servant, and I believe that I can do so. If only I knew what my mistress's, uh, mistress desires. Having received of her blessing, the brooms here are bound to possess the knowledge. this knowledge. Alas, they refuse to talk to me. But as you are... Uh, as you are our guests, they cannot willfully ignore you, yet if they are not entirely cooperative or forthright. Please speak with them, Ribbit, and acquire the information I need to survive. Of course, that means we have quests with them, but we're not actually going to do that. And so I'm going to head to... The area in which that we need to head to for the Google Library. And of course that is this direction and the heading over there. And also in this way is the last Aether Current, I believe, that we need. Oh, no, there is two. I knew that. <laughs> and the one is right here. And the next is most likely up these stairs and towards the library there. And the last one is right here, in perfect timing that I'm about to end the video because a thunderstorm just started to pop up, which I knew was going to happen. And moving back up over here, we now have all the Aether Currents currently. The last quest one is part of this uh, quest, I believe. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Yes, it is. So, speaking with Broomsy here. You stand before the Great Google Library, one of Heidelin's foremost repositories of knowledge. Alas, it has fallen into disuse since the exodus some summer since, and all the, those years it ha its halls have welcomed not the coming of a single soul. Its floors fell to not the loving br uh, brush of a broom. M mine apologies, madame. Pray pay no mind to the dreams of a humble broom. You are doubtless eager to venture within and retrieve my lady's tome. I shall unlock the door at once. When you have what you seek, pray return to the cave and report to my lady. So, the Great Google Library now accessible. And, of course, that is where we're going to leave today's video. Uh, so, that is it for this one. Thanks for watching!